this video, we're going to cover computer programs and flow of control. Now, what is a computer program? Well, it's a collection of code that is organized in an algorithm to accomplish a variety of tasks. Now, you might look at the word algorithm and think, what is that? Well, an algorithm is known as a set of rules to be followed in a calculation or order problem solving operations. So if you think of your math class, when you think of the PEMDAS acronym, that is the order of operations that you use to be able to solve your math problem, which is known as an algorithm. Now here on the right, we have an image that shows us a start and an end. Now this is a small code that has been put together to be able to read the temperature and here, whether the temperature is less than 32 or greater than 32, it's going to give us an output based on the reading. So once the temperature is read and it's less than 32, it's going to print out below freezing. If it's not, then it's going to say above freezing and that's gonna end that computer program or that code that's been put together. Now, what are computer programs used for? Well, they're used in many ways to develop forms of calculation. So if you can think of your calculator, uh, well, it's been programmed to do all of those set calculations whenever you type in different numbers and different equations to be solved. Programs are also used to manipulate and organize data or simply just to be creative and make your own video games. Now we're gonna talk about flow of control. Really, it just refers to the order of the commands and how they're run by the computer. So here we have an example from MakeCode, which we're gonna be able to put together to get a hands-on feeling for what the website actually looks like. Now, when we turn on the micro bit on start, it's going to show the icon of a heart on the five by five grid screen. And then it's going to pause for two seconds and it's going to show a string saying hello with an exclamation mark at the end. Now, a string is a series of characters that are put together to make up a word or an image in this case. So let's head over to microbit, makecode.org to work this example out and figure out how to create a code or a program and understand the flow of control even better. All right, so now we're at the makecode.microbit.org website. We're gonna put that code together by using the basic blocks. Show icon. We want to pause for two seconds and click on the drop down, turn that into two seconds. And then we want a string. By default, the message that's in here is hello. When we look at the five by five grid screen, we can see how that icon appeared. It paused for two seconds and now it shows us a string. 